वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू नाइव वीडियो दिस लाइव वीडियो इज अबाउट प्राइवेट स्कूल पेपर द पेपर कैन एज यूजल कैन बी फाउंड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज ट्राई ड्रॉइंग द पेपर योर सेल्फ एंड देन ट्राई लुकिंग एट द पेपर द वे वी हैव डन द पेपर आई गुड टू हेल्प यू टू डू द पेपर आई हैव डन द सोल्यूशन फॉर द पेपर फॉर यू ऑल टू मेक इट ईजी बट आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट वॉट आव हैड डन सो इफ यू आर रेडी Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you're ready. Let's get started now. I'll hide myself and I hope you all can see it clearly. Please give me a thumbs up if you all can see it clearly. So let's get started now. It clearly. So, so if you look at the first one it tells you that is a uh, One to four, they are basically telling you they're testing your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division skills. So you just need to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So your answer for number one, as you see, it's one one three zero, <coughs> and for number two is four eight seven. For three, it's four six zero eight, and for number four is three eight five. and for the next one they are asking you that n by 3 small bags of peanuts and pays with a 2 pound coin she receives 80p change how much each bag costs so they are basically asking you how does each of her bag cost so what have i had done i just wrote what information is given to you you they are given you the cost is 2 pounds for 2 pounds i have written it at 2.00 and then you received atp change and that i have written as 0.80 and then i had divided by 3 and after that when i did that and my answer is 40p so you have to be really really careful what about your calculations so your answer for that one is 40p now we have sequences in sequences you have they have given you three a uh, d a uh, four types of dif uh, different sequences when you have a question of sequences you have to think about adding subtracting multiplying square roots all that stuff so if you look at the first one it's what's the pattern from 30000 to 300 300 to 300 3000 to 330 so basically in the first one they are dividing it by 10 so when they keep dividing you get this answer so your next two sequences what were missing would be 3 and 0.3 and if you look at the second sequence you have 3 6 12 and 24 in this one they are just multiplying by 2 3 multiply by 2 is 6 6 multiply by 2 is 12 12 multiplied by 2 is 24 so you know that your next sequence would be 48 and 96 and the third one is 1 1 2 2 3 5 8 so what they are doing if you look at the sequence in this they are just adding previous two numbers so they are just adding previous two numbers and if they do that your next sequence for this one would be just 13 and 21 and next one is your d in this what are they doing if you look at that it's 1 4 9 and 16 in this one they are just they are very clever in this they are just doing the square numbers the square numbers for 1 then square number of 2 square number of 3 square number of 4 and so on so then you get your answer for the next two sequences Now the next one is they are telling you you need to find three prime numbers that add up to thirty. You know prime numbers are the numbers which don't come in any of the tables, except uh, they don't come in any of the tables. So you have to think about three numbers when you add them up, which gives you thirty, and that is twenty three plus five plus two, because five also doesn't come in any of the tables. Two also and twenty three also. So your answer for number seven would be 
2, 5 and 23. Now the next one is they're asking you, they're telling you number 8. They are saying 2 fifth of the children in a swimming pool are boys. There are 72 girls in the pool. How many boys are there? So if they have given you that 2 fifth of the children's swimming pools are boys. So you know that 2 fifth are boys and the girls are there are 72 girls. You know there are 72 girls. So your boys equals to 2 fifth x and the girls would be x minus 2x divided by 5. That gives you 3x over 5. That's not enough. You have to still <coughs> find out 3x divided by 5. That gives you 72. So remember that when you need to find the x, the operation is you normally do it opposite. If you want to go, the 5, uh, five needs to go up. If 5 needs to go the other side, that will multiply. So your x will remain here. So you'll be 72 multiplied by 5 divided by 3. That gives you 120. And then you have 2 multiplied by 120 divided by 5. And then... You have to simplify that to get your answer and that what I got is 48. So you have to be really, really careful when you have something like this to do. And you have questions like this. I have seen that if you think about where you can get the questions like this, the questions like this can be got from uh bond books are there and there are a lot of practice papers will have questions like this so it's really important if your child is in year five to do questions like this and if they're doing private school papers then obviously you must have done a lot of practice so now the next one is the line graph below can be used to change pounds in sterling this is something which is very common which it comes so i have just put some dots for you all so they are Asking you how many k did I get for 90p? I've just done k for that. Let's see if my speaker, my there's a voice speaker who speaks for you. The speaker is not in the mood today to speak. <laughs> it's okay. So basically, uh, they're asking you how many k would I get for 90p? So if you go to 90p, if I go up all the way up. And I'll see here, it will be around 16. So my answer for that one would be 16. And the second one they are saying, how may, how much are 10K worth? 12K, sorry, 12K worth. If you go all the way to 12K and see how much it is worth, it's between here, between 60 and 70. So it'll be around 66P. Then they're asking you if Joe buys some sweets and a magazine that cost him five pounds ten, how much is in that in K? So you know that one equals to eighteen K. So five point ten equals to five multiplied by eighteen plus P. And always try putting them in brackets. So sometimes that you don't understand what the brackets are, you get so confused. So it's five multiplied by eighteen plus 2 that's 90 plus 2 that gives you 92 so you need to again know your tables really really well because in 11 plus or if you're giving private school entrances also papers is something you always have to do so jail's garden is 48 m long and 10 meters wide and she wants to cover it feet uh, which comes in 60 sacks 10 kg of peat covers an area of 20 m2 meter square you need to work out the area of the garden and you need to know the formula area equals to 48 multiplied by 10 so, so basically So you have to multiply it by it and then you will get, you need to know the formula. What's the formula of area? So
So they are different about area of a triangle, area of the parameter. So you have to learn about all of them. So next one they are asking you that how many sacks of pet does Gil need for the whole garden? So you know that that's given the information 10 G equals to 20 meters square. So that's a question mark equals to if I take it that side. Oh, it's already given to us, sorry, 480 m square. So then x equals to 480 divided by 2, that's 240. And then you have to divide 240 by 60. That's here for uh, the picture or uh, tells you. Then you get your answer as 4. So now in number 5, again, they are telling you to calculate 2 third plus 5. Fifth, sixth. In this, you will go with the biggest. Uh, you will see which is big three or six, and which comes in both the tables. That's six. Then we got four plus five. What in three table give you six? Three multiply by two. Remember, whatever you multiply the bottom, you multiply the top with the same. So that's four plus five. That's nine by six. And the next one is, they are saying 5 sixth minus 3 fourth. Again, because they don't, this one if I take 6 also, that don't come in four tables. So I need to multiply that. That's 24. And then we do the same thing. What in 6 gives you 24 is 6 multiplied by 4. Then 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. Minus 18, that gives you guys... 2 minus 18 is 2 by 4 and I can simplify that a little more. That gives me 1 by 12. And number C is fraction in the diagram below is shaded. So I have named A, B, C and D. And then I have done half plus A of B, C, D. Then half plus half A, B, C, D. Then if I have multiply them, both will be 1 fourth A, B, C, D. So how much is done? One fourth or you could just see it like this and tell yourself that one fourth is done. It's like one, two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it doesn't work. I was thinking another way. So it's one fourth. So now in number 12 is basically they're asking you the coordinates of the rectangles are a is two zero whatever have they told you you just try putting that out so i've done it for you all i made it here like this and i have labeled them accordingly what they have told you this is how your answer would be this one and next thing they're asking you write down the coordinates of eight so if you look at the time the coordinates of eight are d r sorry 8 and 8. So your answer for D is 8 and 8. And then the next thing what they're asking you to do is they are telling you to draw a line of symmetry of your diagram. So they are basically asking you to draw a line of symmetry. So then you have to draw a line of symmetry the same way as I've done. You can just have a look at the line of symmetry, the one in the green. That's the line of symmetry. Number 13 was that they said that Sara starts her maths homework. That's a part time. She starts at 4.30 and she finishes at 16.10. During that time, she watches neighbors for 25 minutes and she speaks to her friend for 20 minutes. When you have a question like this, it's better to break down parts so that you don't get confused. So let's try doing the first part till here. So 4.30 to 6.10 is 100 minutes. And that 100 minutes, then we need to minus 25 minutes, minus 20 minutes. That give you guys is 55 minutes. And the next one they're asking you is, how many 26 P stems can Anthony buy for 10 pounds? And how much change will she receive? You know that 10 pounds equals 2000 P. Just need to divide 1000 by 26 the way I've had done here. And when you do that, you again have to remember when you're doing something like that, you need to be really, really, really particular about the way you do it. So it's 68 stems and 28 
is your change. So now we are on number 15. I really like this one. In this, they are saying, what was the rainfall on Tuesday? So if you look at Tuesday, what was the rainfall on Tuesday? It goes all the way to 5. So it's 5 mm. And then they are saying more rain was there on Monday than Sunday. So if you look at Monday, that was 6 and your Sunday was 4. So you minus that and you get 2 mm. And the next one is they are telling you to find the total rainfall for week. So you need to find out the total rainfall for the week is you need to add all falls what you found before. That was 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 0 plus 14 plus 2 plus 4. And then you will get your answer as 33 mm. Then they are asking you what is the average rainfall, daily rainfall. So you have to think about the average daily rainfall now. So that you know that what you are doing. So the average rain average daily rainfall is 33 what we uh, got in previous and the seven days divided by seven that would be 0.71 and next one is they are telling you that p has 90 p that she wants to between seven girls and four boys so that the girls each have twice as much as boys so you know that boys have x the girls Girls will have 2x. How much does each boy receive? So you know the boys is x as I told you before and the girls is 2x. So they told you that there are 7 girls. 7 multiplied by 2x plus 4x because girls are double. That equals to 18. Then try to open the brackets. 18x equals to 90. Then x equals to 5p. And then 2x, because that's double of that, will be equal to 10p. So you know that the girls will be 10p and the boys would be 5p. She will give. Number 14. In this, you know the pi diagram is the total of this is 360. If you have something like this, try finding the one which is missing because definitely they will be asking you the one which is missing. So I found 50. So let's see if they're asking us that or not. So first they are asking us which takeaway food was the favorite of one fourth of the students. So you know that it will be 90 divided by 360. That's one fourth and that's Indian. And the next one they are asking you section of these students choose Chinese. So again, you're dividing 120 divided 60. Try taking the zeros of zeros. And then we try simplifying 12 by 36. And your answer is one third. And the next one is they are telling you to work out the size of the angles of the thigh. So it's 360. We know that. And the way what we did was we added all them up. All the other angles were, were given and we subtracted from 360. And then we got 50. And the third part is they're asking you how many of the 180 students choose pizza. So you know that there were 100. 100 divided by 360 multiplied by 180. And then try taking zeros off. And then you would get your answer as 50. Now we are number 18. Number 18 is that they, they said to encourage her bedroom. Catty is given 1p on the first day and 2p on the second day and 4p on the third day and so on, doubling the amount each day. You know the amount is being doubled day. So how much will be she given on the 8th day? So you have to calculate how much will she given 8th day. But you know one thing for one thing you know is that each day is double of the previous day. So if it was Yesterday, it'll be 2 today and it'll be 4 tomorrow. So, I've, I just added all them up till all the way till 8 day. And you add all of them up and you get your answer as 255.
And remember the amount here, that's doubling. If you look at that, it's doubling of each other. It's 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128. So let's go on number 19. In number 19, they said the total of the opposite face, faces on this is always 7. Jack places 3 dice on a table as shown in the diagram. What is the total score of the faces that Jack cannot see? So you know that 1 opposite is 6, 5 is opposite is 2. So then try multiplying 3 multiplied by 1 plus I put them brackets so that all of you don't don't get confused you have 2 multiplied by 5 and then you have plus 2 multiplied by 2 and then you add them up 3 plus 10 plus 4 that gives you guys 17 now number 20 was that you were supposed to calculate the parameter of the shape starting your units very carefully so basically I made it all the units first in meters 80 centimeters is 0 0.8 meters this already given and 30 centimeters is 0 0.3 1.8 meters already given so you know the big area on this side here this one would be 1.9 now the, the next thing what you need to do is you need to calc uh, sorry add all the given to you so you 1.9 plus 1.6 plus 1.8 plus 1 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.3 equals to after doing all of that you just need to add them up and see what you'll get you'll get 7.4 meters so that's what you got for here and now this is the last part what we have in this say that jack dances clockwise clockwise means you know it goes this way making one revolution every five seconds so just try writing what's given to you five starting from a point a jack starting point and dances anti-clockwise the other one does anti-clockwise so doing this way so now they are asking you how many times do they pass each other in the first minute so you know that in one minute jack is 60 divided by 5 that gives you 12 and in one meters gil 16 divided by 6 that's 10. I'm just writing all the information again was given to you all by writing as much information is given to you because if you don't do that you will get confused somewhere or the other. So then whatever you you just need to add them up let's imagine grill is in rest he's resting then jack re revolves 12 plus 22 times and meets gill once in a rotation so your answer for that would be 22. so i hope it was not so bad for you all So it's 22 for this one. So with this we have done the paper. And this was an easy way this time I choose to do the paper than doing the full paper again with you all. I wrote the answers and I explained you the way which was easily understood by you all. So remember that try doing the paper yourself again as i always keep saying try doing the paper yourself and see if you understood it or not and remember that alt has started doing gcses now so we are helping you all the way from 11 plus to gcsc and that can only be possible uh, if you all like and subscribe to our channel please 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 be a be nice to our channel Tell your family and friends so that our channel expands and we have more members we could help. That's all for today. And remember the paper in the description. Try doing the paper again and I'll see you guys back next week.